All right, now listen, we're going to have some uh, talk to some crazy guys here who have already been crazy twice today and intend to be crazy a third time Indeed. in a moment or two. Yes. Who are they? Look, we're talking base jumping in the locker tonight and we're doing it in the company of one of Britain's top jumpers. Uh, we're speaking to him in France where he's been doing his thing today. Uh, it's a very good evening to Dave Moores. Good evening to you, Dave. Good evening, Johnny. Now, first of all, for those who don't know, tell us exactly what base jumping is. Well, it's, uh, it's parachute jumping from tall things like cliffs and buildings uh, rather than airplanes. So the word base is an acronym and it describes the, the things we jump off, buildings, antennas, spans, which are bridges, and earth for cliffs. Didn't know that. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. No. I'm, I, glad, I'm glad he came on just so we know that fact. Yeah. Exactly. We are now fully aware of what the description of base <laughs> jumping is. Can you just is. say it again because I've forgotten the middle one. <laughs> yes, do it again. Uh, buildings, yep. antenna, yep. span, and earth. Span. Span's good, isn't span. it? Now, you've been... Because babe jumping, probably not that politically correct these days. Babe jumping? What would that be? If, well, bridges. Well, buildings, antennas, bridges, and earth. So. Oh, oh, well, oh, I, I think I prefer like babe jumping. I like babe jumping. <laughs> yes. You could, get, you could tempt us with that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you tempt a lot of people with that, Chris, I think. Now, um, so just tell us what, you, you're, you're in France, you're, you're away there today, what have you jumped off so far today? Uh, we started the day with a little 650-foot cliff for breakfast, uh, had a little fiddle around, a few croissants, and then uh, off for a 450-foot cliff for lunch. Right, and you're going to do one after this interview as well, aren't you? We are, yes, yeah, because frankly, it will be less stressful than doing this. So, so like, you know, obviously the second one is uh, not as high as the first one, but in a way that's more dangerous, not less dangerous. Yeah, absolutely. That's really the the sort of uh, the point that, that base jumping sort of throws up is, you know, normally jumping from an airplane at three or 4,000 feet, lots of time to sort things out. The lower you get, the more interesting it is. So. <laughs> what do you mean, the more interesting <laughs> it is? You're crackers! <laughs> I mean, it, it is obviously, it's a very dangerous sport, and it's had a bit of a bad reputation, hasn't it, Dave? But you're trying to clean that reputation up, aren't you? Yeah, very much so, very much so. Um, it, it's, it, is, it's, it has its risks, like any adventure sport, but with, with the modern equipment, training, good decision-making, the right attitude, it really can be very, very safe. So, um, you know, we're just trying to get it more accepted, to sort of change some of the, the, the sort of inbuilt and, and well-ingrained perceptions about the sport, and, and that's where UK Pro Base comes in, really. OK, so how much of a skydive is involved in, say, a 600-foot base jump, then? Uh, two seconds of free fall and a 30-second canopy ride, so um, very little, to be absolutely honest, apart from flying the parachute. And which is the most fun, the two seconds or the 30 seconds? Ooh, that half a second as you lean over the edge and you've gone but you've not left yet, but you ain't coming back. That's that's the zen moment. That's All right, it. so you've got your two-second, yeah, uh, two you've got your two-second free fall, you've got your 30-second glide. Yeah. Um, if you didn't have the 30-second glide because something went wrong... How yeah. many seconds would it be before it all, you know, it, it was all over? The fun was over for quite a while. <laughs> uh, <laughs> about seven. Seven seconds, all right. Yeah. Uh, what, what's your margin for error there? Um, you've got a couple of seconds either way, but the, we don't just fling ourselves off these things and think about it on the way down. Every jump is very, very, you know, carefully prepared for and, uh, you know, planned. We know we're going to get off, we're going to do a one-second delay, a two-second delay, etc. It's all worked out beforehand and, uh, uh, jump, you know, plan the jump and jump the plan. Okay, the mantra. I, I get that and I, I'm completely on board with you. Can you have any fun in that two seconds? <laughs> is there anything you can do or is it just, is it just the two, do you just count 1,000, 2,000 and then it's time to open the chute? Having stepped off the planet, you just lie there and enjoy it. Right. And you're organising the, the UK Championships for later this year as well. Well, uh, well, here's an exclusive for you, Johnny. Uh, today, on your show, we're launching the UK Pro Base 2008 Who's the Daddy British Open Championship Series. <laughs> Chris, are you the daddy? No, I'll tell you what, I'd love to go and watch it, though, but you've got to ensure, because obviously you, you are, what you're doing by, do, I mean, it's so exciting and it's so brilliant and so skillful what you're up to, but you are encouraging people to push it to the limit there, aren't you? Well, what we're doing here is, in many ways, it's the reverse. We, there is no national governing body for this sport, and we're not trying to be one. We don't want to be one. Base jumpers are kind of, you know, they're on the edge, but what we've done... You recently jumped, we did a, uh, a base jump recently at Thorpe Park off their roller coaster. Um, now, being a public theme park, they've got one of the sharpest health and safety regimes in industry. Yes, it's yes. accepted at corporate level, satisfy them with our risk assessments, method statements, insurances, operations manual. We, we're proving to them that we're not a bunch of long-haired loonies with no regard for our lives. We're exactly the opposite, and, and we're getting the opportunity this year by launching the series to show that to the rest of the UK. It's going to be very, very exciting and just prove just how safe this sport can be when 
when it's done properly. No, you do sound very focused and very serious. I, I've got a lot of respect for you, and I would love, I would definitely buy a ticket to go and watch that. I think that's one of the most exciting things you could ever go and see. Yeah, well, no. it's even better than that, Chris, because the free events we're running, I think they're all going to be free. They're all massive uh, existing events, and we're just slotting into them as part of it. So uh, no problem at all. Come along. Listen, would you do us a favour? Would you come on the show again, and would you... Could you, without without <laughs> without putting your safety at risk here, could you be on the phone <laughs> and and run off the side of the the whatever you're going to jump off that day on the phone? Absolutely, and and talking. Oh. If, if Boris is in and he's listening and wants to turn uh, Nelson's column into a helter skelter, you just get us up there. We'll show you how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dave, thank you so much for joining us. Um, Dave Moore's one of the UK's top base jumpers. Yeah. Um, and as I said, he's got the UK Championships um, later this year. UKProBase.co.uk is their website. One of the best guests you've ever had on Well Done, Johnny. Have a great weekend. Thank you.